What's up, everybody? How are you guys doing? I hope everything is fine wherever you are. My name is Pepe Cuenca, and I'm very happy to be here with all of you for another Banter Blitz session. As you guys know, I'll be playing against the premium members from Chess24, and I'll be doing commentary on my own games. So I see a lot of people already in the Chess24 chat, like Belen, Alberto, Patrick, some people in the YouTube chat as well, and some people in Twitch. I'll be paying attention to Twitch today as well. So, uh, today's Friday. I know you guys want to go for some party, maybe. Uh, well, not so sure anymore in <laughs> these times. <laughs> but uh, anyway, let's play some chess, right? Before we start the weekend. So, uh, preferably, I'll be accepting challenges uh, of three minutes uh, per player. So I can play more people, right? And uh, I have a lot of them already, so let's start. Let's start by playing against, uh, for example, Mr. Chess Beats Austria. All right, so I got the white pieces, so let's start uh, with e4. And Sicilian defense, knight f3, and now let's see what kind of Sicilian he plays. He goes for the accelerated dragon, so I'm gonna take and then I'm gonna play my favorite recipe against the dragon, which is, of course, the Maroxi. Pretty solid setup, right? Now we play bishop b3 to protect d4. Now my next moves probably are gonna be knight c3, bishop b2, short castle, and then we'll see what happens. And uh, Pepe, can you put the elo? Mm, the problem with this uh, chess beats Austria is rated 1700. Uh, the problem is that his nickname is too long, right? So e6, that's a pretty weird move because now d6 is going to be suffering the rest of the game. So it's going to be a, a weak square. So now I'm going to do my thing, which bishop e2, short castle, queen d2, rook a to d1, for example. Now probably he wants to go d5. Well, it's not that stupid, this uh, e6. Now I have to see how should I react against uh, this d5 threat. Takes, takes, takes. So I'm gonna take on c6. Why not? And now he takes with the d pawn. Queen takes d8, followed by bishop b6 and long castle. Looks very good for me. And if he takes with the b pawn. Probably I can go queen d6 or even bishop c5 in that position, right? Uh, intending to occupy the d6 square. Anyway, I think I have a nice position. So let's see what happens. Probably bishop d4 is also pretty, pretty interesting because after e5 I can play bishop. Um, bishop uh, c5 and now uh, have uh, full control on the center so takes takes and uh, here I want to go queen d6 I want to go queen d6 yes or not yeah let's go queen d6 here so now he can't move the queen really because the knight on e7 is just hanging and yes so the bishop on c8 is a pretty bad bishop so you guys can see there are no diagonals for this guy here so, um, yeah, I think we have a really nice position right here. So, you're right, Alberto. So, we'll try to adjust uh, this in the next game. All right. So, you guys can see everything. F5. All right. So, he's pretty in desperation mode since uh, he cannot move uh, any piece, basically. So, I'm just going to go short castle here. Pawn takes, neck takes, pre move. And now after knight f5, I have this queen e5 check. He can't go queen f6 because the knight on e4 is covering that square. And uh, yeah, I think he still have uh, has some troubles. Sorry, with the bishop on c8. Okay. Mm. Ha, hola, Pepe. Hi, all from a tropical Amsterdam. <laughs> rook f7. Mm, well, so now rook a to d1. As I was telling you guys, this was my intention. Now pawn takes, knight takes. Again, after knight f5, I can even now play uh, queen takes c6. Okay, he calls queen b6. That, that was his idea. So now the knight on e7 is well protected. And now I have two interesting um, moves. So let's play just b3, which is uh, the most natural. Now knight a4 followed by knight c5 is another plan. Right, and the knight on c5 is putting a lot of pressure on d7. Now I can even double rooks on the d file and d7 is going to suffer a lot. Queen a5, wow, okay. Putting pressure there, no problem. Just gonna go rook d3, looks good. Rook d3, pawn takes, knight takes, rook ta queen takes a2. I don't believe that he can take that pawn on a2. So I'm just gonna play rook d3, as I was telling you guys. And now 
After pawn takes, knight takes, I have this g5 square at some point for my knight to put pressure on the uh, f7 rook, right? Um, oh, sorry guys. No, 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 he's premium member, so no problem. Now there is a winning move here. Come on, guys. I think you already saw that. Come on. Be fast and tell me the winning move here. It's very simple. It's very simple. If you guys uh, check all the checks, threats, and uh, captures, you will win a lot of games. So here the move is queen d4 check, and now queen a7 pre-move. That's right, real Freylos. Exactly. Queen d4 check, now queen a7. That's uh, queen for free for me, and you guys know I love material for free. So basically, we're winning on the spot right now. Again, our man chess beats Austria. How is uh, your day going? Do you guys see an uh, interview with uh, Mr. Dean Liren? What a humble guy, right? What a humble guy, super player from China. And uh, he'll be playing in the finals against uh, Magnus Carlsen in the semifinals. So now let's uh, accept, for example, strong player. Here we have, here we have uh, somebody who became premium today for the first time in his life. So this is Megalovic from Italy. Ciao, come va? Spero che tutto va bene. And now we play C4, the English opening. We got again the white pieces. And uh, now let's see how he reacts against uh, C4. So, a lot of top players, they play E5 nowadays. Of course, C5 is possible. E6, Knight F6, C6. And now we are transposing to the Karokan against, uh, after, sorry, after this E4. So, pawn takes, pawn takes. And now knight c3. Now it's really important to take this one on d5. A lot of people play g6, which is a very, uh, very strange move because now we can play bishop c4. And then there is an idea with d3 reinforcing the bishop on c4. I'll try to show in a, in another game. Bishop g4. That's that's uh, probably the first time that I see this move. But I'm just gonna play queen b3, just protecting d5, attacking b7. Now b7 b7 is is weak, as you guys can see. And uh, queen b6. Well, he's doing weird stuff. So, um, queen b6, I guess I should take here, I guess I should take here, so let's take it, and now, for example, um, bishop c4 looks good, again, just reinforcing d5, and now we have some uh, knight b5 ideas at some point, okay, so now let's kick this bishop, so with h3, now probably he's got the f5 square, and now we can keep pushing, for example, with g4 and then f4, which looks very, very tempting to me. So I'm just going to go for this. So g4, only square is g6 and then f4, just winning a lot of space, now threatening f5. It's got some square here on c2, but I don't believe that because after d3, the bishop is kind of trapped. As you guys can see, there is rook h2 ideas, just uh, attacking the bishop on c2, also king d2. And if he has to go to a4, just don't believe in that position. Of course, he can try h5 here in this position. But f5, I think after f5, we're just uh, much better in this position. Anyway, let's see how uh, this works. And, uh, and I believe that after this show, there's another important show in chess 24. I'll try to... To see what we have uh, after this show. We'll be here for 90 minutes. So still plenty of, th of time sorry, to play against you guys. And uh, well, let's play knight f3. G6. Of course, he wants to get some life with this bishop on h7. And now let's see what we can do. I think I will have to take here. The other option is to play knight d4. But I just don't like it. So I'm just going to take this guy on g6. And now probably I should uh, develop at some point. So let's play d4 or d3. Both looks interesting. Because after knight c5... Well, let's play d4. So just limiting this this guy on d7. Uh, which is a very bad piece now. Because uh, we have we control all the squares. Now I'm just going to go bishop f4. Just developing our pieces. Probably at some point I have to decide where, where should I go with my king. Let's go to the uh, king side by playing short castle. And now this is my next target. Uh, on e7. For those who are joining now the show, I'll be doing 90 minutes in Spanish uh, after this show. So, knight e4. Okay. Alright. That's uh, fair enough. Um, hmm. Knight e4 and now I'm just gonna go bishop b3. Probably his idea is just to take on c3 and then rook c8. So that's why we play prophylactically uh, with the move bishop b3. 
and now uh, if he goes rook c8, I'm on time to play rook c1 just protecting this guy here because I don't want to take on e4. No, at least not straight away. I prefer to put some pressure with uh, rook f to e1, just uh, forcing him to take on c3 and improving my pawn structure, right? So, because I will have more protection on the pawn on d4, and then probably he's gonna struggle to protect this e7 pawn. There's no way he can play e6 here in this position. And, uh, so, let's see. Now we are also in control uh, in terms of time, because we have uh, 10 more seconds. So, sorry guys, I just moved the board a little bit. So B takes C3, and probably is gonna try to put some pressure on C3. It's the only plan, but after Rook A to C1, oh, Knight F6, I see where you're going, but Rook E1, and now, mm hmm Well, probably I should try to double Rooks on the E file. For example, Rook E3, now we do uh, two things at the same time. We protect c3 and now we are uh, planning to leave this e1 square for the rook. So we put more pressure on e7, right? Um, so king f8, all right. So rook e1 and now I have some tactical ideas with rook e7 and bishop d6. I think that they, they don't work yet, but just as an idea for you guys to know, like uh, you can take some times on e7 and then bishop d6, okay? He played... Uh, knight g8 and now probably just knight e5 is a very good move or even d6 looks very tempting as well but uh, let's just play knight e5 so after bishop takes e5 just bishop takes or pawn takes this is extremely good for us let's just take with the pawn so now there's no more pressure on e7 but now i have the possibility to create a pass pawn here with d6 look at this knight in g8 man he's suffering a lot he has no square and uh, let's just improve a little bit the position of my king and king g7 let's play h4 now probably intend to go h5 now the g file is gonna get open with rook g1 followed by rook takes g4 okay he decided to go there and now rook g3 this is very nice now we are entering on g7 with uh, fatal consequences for our opponent mr megalovich now i'm gonna play h5 i don't believe in bishop takes h5 because rook h3 just wins and uh, he's got to resign well thanks a lot for the game Let's keep playing, for example, against uh, Mr. Juf Yusuf from Turkey. And, uh... Alright, so... Short Castle. Short ca Did I say Short Castle with no reason? <laughs> I just said Short Castle, I don't know why, but... Uh, yeah, you know guys, uh, sometimes I'm a little bit crazy. This is a... Uh, uh, Turkish Carlson, as you guys can see in the picture, but he's not there, Mr. Yusuf. Are you there, Mr. Yusuf, or not? Uh, are you taking challenges in order or randomly? Well, I'll I'll do uh, I'll do it randomly, probably. So you don't have to worry about uh, challenging me like uh, just two seconds after I finish one game. No, I'll, I'll be taking them randomly, so you guys can relax, can enjoy uh, the chess, and then. I hope I can play most of you today. Well, he's not here, so we'll have to abort the game. Sorry, Mr. Joseph. And uh, by the way, you guys have tried uh, kebab, but not any kebab. Just kebabs in the... In Turkey, because they are really, really awesome. You know, they are completely different from the kebabs that uh, they make, for example, in Spain. You know, the real kebab is extremely great. So e4, what should I play here? Let's play the Accelerated Dragon? No, let's play the Philidor, yeah? One of my favorite defenses. And uh, Knight f6, Knight c3, and e5. So, Queen e2, whoa, Alberto, what is this? Well, let's play e5 anyway. Queen e2 is a really strange move, as you guys can see. Now Knight f3, let's just take this guy here on d4. Now play bishop e7, short castle on them. At some point, put some pressure on the e4 pawn. And the Queen on e2... It's gonna suffer a little bit with a rook on e8, right? Because after bishop f8, well, maybe his plan is not that stupid. He wants to, he wants to go long castle. Well, uh, it turns out that it wasn't uh, that uh, that stupid, right? This queen e2, mainly because I took on d4, probably. But now, of course, now I, I'm trying to show him like, okay, you wanna go long castle? Then I'm gonna attack you like there's no tomorrow. So b5. Now I'm inviting him to go long castle. Of course, he, he doesn't want yet, but now c5, let's see what this knight goes. Knight f5, just grab this knight. I just swallow this beautiful knight, and now rook e8, or even d5, looks very good. Now, threatening to go d4, and now knight c6, my pieces start coordinating pretty pretty, pretty nice, right? 
So, in the Spanish band, are you playing only people from Spanish-speaking countries? No, of course not, Andre. I'll play uh, anyone, yeah? But the thing is, in Spanish shows, uh, normally they're only Spanish-speaking uh, uh, people, right? And I understand completely because uh, you want to understand what's going on, right? So, 94, let's just play knight c6. Now I think my pieces are in very good uh, position. So 95 now looking for D square, for example, F4, which is very, very tasty for me. And now probably I should start creating some threats against uh, the uh, white skin. Now I'm going to play. No, I wanted to go. No, 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 no. I'm going to put a uh, small trap, knight F6. So to see if Alberto uh, trained a little bit. Okay, he plays... Uh, h4 it was really 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 stupid this move again i'm gonna keep insisting with this uh, bishop f4 idea my trap was to play knight e4 and followed by bishop g5 just winning the game on the spot so let's play queen c7 with the same idea let's see his pot stat he did pretty nice and now we occupy this uh, knight square on e5 and probably this knight is coming to c4 at some point g5 well this is getting this is getting uh, risky for me too because now all his pieces are coordinating pretty well as well so now let's just put this uh, bishop on e5, just creating some threats against b2. For example, rook takes b2, should be interesting at some point. Rook a3, he went for rook a3, and now let's just keep pushing some pawns here to see what's, what, what happens. Now he's gonna, uh, wow, bishop g3, I didn't like that move. I think this is a clear mistake because now, of course, uh, I wanna trade. I wanna trade because uh, he's probably uh, one of his uh, little advantages in this position was the bishop pair, but now it's gonna get rid of the bishop pair and probably this is just too good for us let's just push with c4 bishop takes c5 i will have to take with my queen of course to protect d4 and uh, wow i didn't see that coming i didn't see that the bishop on g2 now is hanging so no problem at all and uh yes now i think this is completely winning for us just queen takes c5 just stacking the rook and uh, he can't take the knight yet so rook d8 takes takes queen g2 it's not possible because of rook d1 uh checkmate and i think we have to be winning in this position right so a3 now he gives a free square for the king but i think this is not gonna be enough for my friend because now i can just take this guy here on e4 the knight is going back for, uh, by a f4 in this position and uh das bars as uh, my german friends uh, I used to say das bars das bars so b4 blah 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 let's play b4 let's play b4 let's play b4 nah let's just take this guy here on h4 there's no need to to reach to risk sorry here in this position right so we just grab this guy here on h4 and uh, rook f4 may probably we can play queen h1 check and probably just rook d1 which is threatening checkmate in one move, and I see no way to escape from this rook a1 checkmate. Probably b3 and now c3, and I think it's time to resign for my friend. b4, we can even play a4, or even rook a1 followed by queen b1, and that's checkmate, right? So, hi to Albus Dreamer, <laughs> hi to Jazin, hi to Oli. Uh, Oli, this is the guy working behind the scenes, right? Normally, uh, you guys only see commentators, players, but uh, we have a lot of people doing a lot of work behind the, the scenes. And one of them is Oli. He's been working like a beast, like since I don't know how many years, old, like five years already, four years, I don't know. Uh, let's take another player. Uh, for example, uh, let's take, let's take, let's take my friend, uh, my friend... Uh, my friend Christian from Germany. You should do a German banter. No, my German is not good enough to, to do some banter. Yeah, my German is uh, is okay to survive. <laughs> my German is just okay to survive, you know? I can go to the supermarket, ask for some food. I can buy a train ticket in the station. Something like that, you know? I can order a kebab, yeah? So, I'm do it with Henschen, bitte. Nur Salat. Iceberg, bitte schön, uh, und ein bisschen scharf, ein bisschen scharf und Salziki, ja, 
So. Zumitnem, Zumitnem, bitteschön. A3, this is prophylactic against uh, Bishop A G4. And now I'm gonna play A6. This is a normal move. Uh, just to give this A7 square uh, to the bishop. So, well, let's just go short castle and then Bishop E6. And uh, this looks good again. Probably he wants to go Bishop G5. Uh, this is uh, the kind of opening that kids play all the time, right? This the Italian, uh, Italian sorry, opening. But now we just play, we just stop, sorry, Bishop G5. And my, my idea is to play Bishop E6 in the next move. What one at home could be same? Come on, Pepe. Now he's gonna take on E6, and then your pawns are gonna be uh, doubled on the E file. But that's true. But at the same time, the, the F file gets uh, opened for our pieces, and that should be that should be very interesting. So Bishop E6 takes takes and now there are some tacky maneuvers like queen eight, 28 sorry queen g6 knight h5 and some rook f3 ideas at some point so so it is like for me in spanish i can ask for directions but i don't understand the answers that's that's right dutch this dutch defender sorry it's the same for me you know if i am involved in a conversation with germans i don't get any single thing and i actually lived three years in germany i was working there in hamburg and uh it was a nice experience for me, I gotta say. So I'm gonna play bishop a7. If he takes, I'll take with my rook and then I'll try to go back to a8. Because I didn't want to take on e3. I don't know why, but uh, I think his position is very, very safe. So I think white is even a little bit better. So let's see what, what I can do. So I'm gonna take on d4 and I'll go back with this rook on a7. He's just doing nothing, this rook on a7. So... So... Knight takes e6 and now queen takes e6, just taking on e4. So he has to protect that guy. So I'm gonna play knight d7, looking for some squares. Let's see if I can go to e5 and then c4, something like that. Did you play in the Bundesliga? Yes, I played uh, in Hamburger SK, like for a lot of years, for three or four years, I, I would say. I met uh, very nice friends there. My friend Jonathan Karlstedt, it's a very nice guy, for example. Uh, I was sharing thing with Rasmus Vane. I was sharing team with uh, uh, Jonathan, uh, Jonas Lampert, and uh, Chuck Nick. A lot of people, yeah. I, I had a great time. And then I was playing for San Pauli uh, in second division another year, so it was also a, a nice experience. So I'm gonna play Rook A to F8, and uh, well, let's have, let's go back to F to F6, and uh, Knight D4. Okay, let's spin this knight with Queen B6. And I don't see a clear way yet to penetrating his position, but we'll find out. So knight g6. Now, I want to go to f4 with this knight, and then probably at some point we could have some, some sacrifices on a3 or something like that. Also e5, c5, c5 uh, sorry, c5 are moves in the air. And... Uh, are you in Germany or Spain? No, I'm now in Spain. I finished my, my PhD in the... In Hamburg and I came back to Spain like in 2017 I was in Germany from 2013 to 2017 basically and uh, and then I went back to Spain so I'm playing e5 I played knight h4 because I, I didn't want to, to allow this knight to come into f5 so that's why I played knight h4 here so there's no knight a5 he's got to go back queen b3 check I didn't see this move that was very nice so I guess I have to take and now uh, I'll try to play g5, knight g6. He's offering a draw, but we don't want to draw. And uh, the main thing is uh, we have to keep playing all the time just to learn. Just to learn. So if we make draws, we don't learn. So, and I'm also very competitive, you know. So even playing whatever, cards. So here h5, so my threat nice to play g4. Probably he's got to uh, move this rook away from the f file. Otherwise g4 could be winning a pawn already. So... <clears throat> Rook c1 and now hmm now what to do now what to do let's go back knight g6 and I don't see a clear plan but let's try let's uh, let's play king g7 just uh, hmm, knight a5 well let's play b6 and now just rook f7 
and followed by knight f4 and g4. This could be my plan in the, in the next move. Okay, let's play rook d7. Now knight f4, and he's gonna run out of time, my friend Crypto from Germany. Now g4 should come. Thanks for the game, my friend Crypto. Crypto knight. Let's take a strong player. For example, Doppel Angel Grief. He made a draw against me. Mm, I understand a bit of Dutch. Well, my Dutch is just a zero. I just know how to say donkey ball and uh, Dewey, right? Dewey. You say Dewey to say thank you. I've been many times in the Netherlands. What a nice country. I love waffles, you know? These waffles that you had, you guys have over there. And uh, it's very, very nice country. So, Bishop G3. This is in my video series about uh, uh, London system in Chess24. Here we recommend B6. Now e4, and here the best move by far is bishop e7. Just be very careful with this position. I faced it in the board once in the Spanish league, and then I took on e4, and that's uh, that's very very dangerous. So here, what was the move? What was the move? I don't remember any single thing. I don't remember any single thing, guys. But uh, let's see what we can do here. Let's see what we can do here. Well, hmm, hmm, hmm. let's play g6 prophylactically. So we protect the h5 knight. And now, I don't know if I can play c4, b5, b4, or if I should take on d4. I, I'm not so sure. So let's play c4 and then b5, pre-move. b5, a5, and b4. Let's try to create some some problems here on the, on the queen side. And probably he'll try to do something. There are many interesting plans here on the king side, h4, bishop h2, g4. But okay, he didn't go for this, so now a5. Now, uh, going for b4, what did I just do? What did I just do? This is just a ridiculous move. b4, okay, because he could take with the a pawn, but he didn't. So let's take on a3, and now just play rook b8. My main problem in this position is, of course, this rook on b8. Because, uh, sorry, this bishop on c8, I don't have any, any diagonals. But let's try to create some counterplay here on the queen side by playing rook b2. Maybe bishop d7, I don't know, maybe some a4 at some point, knight a5, and probably he's gonna try to play some something like knight g4, right? And uh, h4 is going all in, is going all in, so let's play bishop d7 here. Probably at some point I will have to play f6 in this position, and uh, but that doesn't look good, right? Mm. So bishop h2, and now I... Can I take this guy here? It's extremely risky for sure. It's very, very, very risky. But maybe I have to do this. The other move is f5, which looks ooh, looks terrible, but because the rook on b8 is just hanging. Oof, now I'm gonna suffer, guys. I'm gonna suffer a lot in this position. I'm gonna suffer like a beast. Oof, oof. Don't like it. Well, I'll have to take here on h4. Now, knight takes, queen takes, g4, knight g7, only move. Oh, oof. had to go back to g7. Unlucky that g5 is not working yet. So, bishop f4, and here I'm just playing f6 or not. Uh, f6, f5, takes, takes. Mm, this is a nice, or maybe not nice, but this is a exchange sacrifice. Pawn takes, bishop takes, mm, bishop takes b8, queen takes b8, and I have some squares. I have some squares here, f4. Probably I'm just uh, much worse here, but uh, I have to try. Bishop e7. Let's see. Bishop e7. Now the queen is coming to f4. Now this knight is coming to h5. This is another nice square for my knight. Wow, I don't like this king g2 because now knight h5 is coming. Intend to go knight f4 with a double attack on the king and the queen. <sighs> Give me that, baby. They say, I'm so happy that the, the Germans understand Dutch and I don't understand any German. It happens the same to me in the, with, between Spain and Portugal. Because all the Portuguese can can talk a perfect perfect Spanish, and I don't understand any Portuguese. So now, what should I do here? Well, probably Queen F4. This looks looks very nice here, attacking the knight on F3. Now G5 is also under attack. Wow, this is just an exchange for free. So I'm gonna grab it and then C3 just falling. Rook F3. Now mm, this is much much better for us. So Rook C3 attacking the bishop. Now I'm grabbing another pawn. Grabbing another pawn. Life is good. Life is good. Ooh, give me that. Bishop takes c6. Just uh, 
nothing really happens. Rook b7 is very interesting here, but I think we are still much better. Rook takes a4 and c3, and then this pawn runs like a beast. So, I'm mm, gonna grab this guy too. Bishop takes g5. Rook b7, just bishop b8, just protecting everything. We only have uh, 29 seconds. We have to mm, be very, very careful with the time here. Takes, takes. Now, knight takes d4. Knight takes d4. Give me that, baby. Give me that. Rook a3. Give me that. Give me that. Boom. Boom. Knight takes e1. Rook takes e8. King f7. Just intermediate move. Attacking the rook. And then probably he can resign there. He can resign there. Just c3. King g6. C3. Give me that. Check, check. Check, check. And now probably he can resign. Let's play d4, d3. d4, d3. And here. And rook d1. Just c1. Queen. And probably he can resign. Oh, check. Oh, shit. No, I don't believe it. Oof. Rook d8. Checkmate. Um, well, this was uh, very close to a draw. So we were lucky. Let's play against uh, Bounce Siagila from the States. It was a fun game, right? London system has a lot of venom. Well, let's play against uh, against sorry the Philidor. D4, knight f6. And one more hour to go, guys. Bishop d3, e5. And uh, c3. Well, here, if I remember correctly, d5... Uh, it's a decent move. Pawn takes e5, knight takes e4, and the end game is quite okay for black. Bishop takes, pawn takes, queen d8, king d8. Then my e4 pawn is weak, but also his e5 pawn. And then we got the bishop pair. So if I understand correctly, this was quite okay for, for black, right? So, so what's your plan, guys, for the weekend? All my friends, because now I'm based in, in Ibiza, because all my friends are coming... Uh, to visit me so six friends so it's gonna be a lot of fun <laughs> six friends including my one of them is my brother actually so they're all coming to Ibiza to visit me we rented a car and then we will travel in the island and uh, so I'll be disappearing a little bit from chess 24 from these days and then I'll join to do commentary on the finals and and uh, in the Kiva finals on the Magnus tour so give me that baby I'm gonna take this knight, uh, this pawn on b2. Uh, what about Corona? Here you can go out. You can go out, of course, uh, with mask. But in Spain, the uh, quarantine is finished. Of course, the bars are closed and stuff like that. But you can go to the beach. You can go to the beach. You can uh, do some sports and uh, all this kind of stuff. Yeah. Let's uh, let's see what happens with the pandemic, right? We are all desperate for playing uh, real chess tournaments, right? Not only online. And uh, if everything goes smooth and correct here in Spain, I should be playing the national championship in the first week of September. So let's see what happens. I'm trying to open the 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 chat here in the in Twitch as well, so I can read you guys. And, uh, well, so I should go to g6 probably. I'm not sure about this move. Not at all, because now f4 is very strong. So I should have gone to d7. Oh my gosh. What did I do here? Just, uh, this was very, very stupid. Okay, let's play bishop d3, king d2, and now bishop a6. Intend to go knight c4. So the bishop on d3 is just not, not hanging, right? Okay. He cannot attack my bishop and my knight. So I'm just gonna improve a little bit the position of my king and that means probably bringing it uh, to c8 and then probably b6 and bishop king b7 should be quite okay so now i'm gonna go to a6 now my position start looking pretty pretty strange king c8 was a terrible move again because knight g5 now uh, and i suffer a lot but okay knight d2 he played more passively and now knight d3 check where is where is he going I don't know, I'm doing weird stuff, for sure. Let's play b6 in this position. Uh, mm, we all want to go to the OTB life. That's right. 
That's right. Bishop E7. This looks like a movie, right? Like a horror movie, this coronavirus, right? Let's see if we can finish that guy all together. So, King F3. Now, King B7, finally. But then I have to be careful with the C5 square. Okay, but I want to bring this rook to the D file, rook D8. And uh, more or less, I'm doing fine. At some point, I had to break with F6. Um, or even f5 knight b3 now you guys see mm, he's a very bad guy he's he's a very bad person he wants to play knight c5 which looks very very strong so that's why i gotta play king c8 now there are no troubles with this knight c5 pepe what do you think it's going to happen with the candidates tournament i have no idea man let me focus for a sec here and then i'll try to answer that question so knight d4, where's he going? He's going to c6. Whew. I'll have to go back to b7. This doesn't smell good at all. This doesn't smell good at all. Now knight c5. Let's see. Knight c5. Knight takes. Bishop takes. Bishop takes. I think there's no trouble yet. So knight... Ooh, foo, foo, foo. Bishop takes c3. Now bishop c4 probably. Oh, knight c5 is a threat. I don't know, man. What's going on here? This is crazy. Rook d3 check. Now I'm going to take this guy on c3. So there is no knight c5 check. That was a good move. And now I think we're, we're on top here in this position. Now this looks almost like a checkmate. I, so I'm going to play rook c6 here. And uh, rook c4 check. Where are you going? King f3, are you going? So bishop b7 to play rook e4, which is very strong here in this position. And, uh, okay, he didn't allow this, rook c2, and now let's play rook c3 check. Now probably we can just take here and then play c5 to control the knight on b3, king d7, king e6, and this is just much better for us, king e6. And uh, let's play a6 to play g5 here, which looks very, very nice. g5, takes, takes, wow, this was very stupid, this was very, very stupid. Alright, okay, we won on time. Thanks for the game. So, what do I think that is going to happen with the Candidates Tournament? I have no idea, man. If I knew, but... Uh, but for sure, at some point, I think they will just continue from the point they, they stopped it. And the question is, are they going to include Rajabov or not? They, will they start it from, from the beginning again? I have no idea. What's the most fair thing that you can do there? I don't know, man. I don't know. Mm. Here in Denmark, there are not too many restrictions, but I'm staying in sight, writing my master thesis and watching chess. <laughs> I have some friends uh, living in Copenhagen, and they told me uh, there is quite relaxed that you can go out, even some bars are opened, and uh, Denmark uh, did quite well with the pandemic. So c5, he wants to go probably for the Benoni or the Benko. So let's just play an anti-Benoni or anti-Benko with knight f3 and e5. This gambit is very, very interesting. Probably he wants to go d5 and no, d6. Okay, so now let's play just uh, knight c3, a6, knight a3. This is some sort of <laughs> pelican, right? <laughs> but with opponent c4, of course, it's not a pelican. So let's play g3 in order to go bishop g2, control g5, which is the most important square in this position. I miss Denmark. I was planning to go there for uh, for a month, actually, in June. That was my plan before the pandemic, to visit my friends. And, uh, of course, that had to be cancelled. There's a nice tournament uh, in Copenhagen as well, in June or July every year. Let's occupy d5 or not, or maybe bishop e3. Not so sure. Maybe a3. Well, let's play bishop knight d5, sorry. I want to reallocate this guy here on a3, probably with knight c2. We got the bishop pair at least. That's always good news, right? So knight c2 or knight c4. That's the other interesting square for a knight. Let's play h3. Because I want to bring this bishop to e3. And then probably some uh, knight c4. So we control... Wow, that was that was the, the, the most stupid thing I've done in my life. Yeah, knight c4. I wanted to go to a5. But I'm, of course, blind today. Uh, I will have to go back. Life is tough, right? Um, so, hmm, hmm, hmm. let's play bishop d2. 
I don't like my position anymore. I shouldn't be worse, but okay, I'm not. Mm, I'm not better, of course. Here, so let's play knight f5. My idea is to play bishop e3, just winning a tempo, attacking the queen, and then I have this nice square for a rook probably. So also I have to give some interesting square for my knight because after g6 I'll have to go to g3, and then as I told you, my plan is to go rook c1 and rook c6 at some point. What was like? Uh, what was it like playing Vanderblitz in the match against Magnus? Of course, it was a lot of fun. I knew I was gonna lose uh, by far. Yeah, he beat me eight and a half um, to half. <laughs> so I just made one draw, but it was a, a nice experience. So it was a very, very nice experience. I will, I would love to play against him every day and be 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 crushed by him, right? Mm, Rook c six. Mm -hmm. Now knight d6 works or not? I think knight d6 works. Takes, takes, yeah. I'm gonna take this guy here. So now bishop takes e6, rook takes e6. I have the b6 square to run in case I need it. And also I can ex uh, sacrifice sorry, the exchange on f6 and then take this guy on, on h6. That should be quite reasonable as well. So a5. I wanna do that. I wanna do that. It's not necessary. But, uh, okay, let's play queen d2. Now I'm taking on h6 straight away with my bishop. Probably I could have done it uh, even earlier, so give me that. Pawn takes, rook takes, and then that should be completely winning for white again. Um, exactly, it's a huge honor to be destroyed by the world champion. That's right, it's a great experience. I mean, a grandmaster with my level, I'm my, my elo right now is... To, Sorry guys, I want to finish him off. Well, let's go back to e3. My, my rating right now is 25, uh, 35 rating points. So I don't have the opportunity to play uh, people like Magnus Carlsen every day, of course. So um, definitely it was a nice opportunity. So let's go to b6 and now I have this b5 square to run again. So d6 is also coming. The bishop on g2 starting to have a life at some point. So rook b5. And uh, I lost to the world champion just yesterday. Oh, so Chess Patzer, you managed to, to get a spot in the simul, in the simul. That's really nice. That's really nice. Mm, Queen d6. So I just grab another pawn, guys. So as you guys can see, I see one pawn for free. I just take it. <laughs> so rook c3. Okay. Doesn't matter. And uh, well, let's play. Let's play a3. Why not? So the rook, well, maybe this was a mistake because he could he could have take this this guy on, on b3. Okay, rook a7, targeting the DC, d7 knight, sorry. And at some point, I should be able to play d6, right? Queen d5, stuff like that. It doesn't allow me, so I'm just gonna go to double rooks on the a file. The other rook can come to a6. Right now, I don't have troubles on the back rank. I can always take on c1 and get uh, two rooks. So this doesn't worry me. So queen rook c1, just queen queen c1 looks good to me. Also king h queen h2. Now d6 has got king queen e6. Still, he's fighting. He's fighting quite well. My man Friedel from Germany, from Deutschland. Queen b3. I'm gonna get this guy here. No, I cannot get that guy. Rook a. Let's uh, exchange a pair of rooks. And seven seconds, my man Friedel is gonna run out of time, and we're gonna win this game again. Mm. Thanks for the game, Friedel. And uh, let's keep playing, for example, against uh, against Anse Anseknis from Germany. Oh, he managed to. Make a draw against me like some time ago. So let's see what happens today. Knight f6. And let's play King's India. King's India, one of my favorite openings as well. Bishop g7. Let's see. No, he doesn't go for the main line. This is a really uh, nice setup for white too. Uh, I was playing once uh, a match in the Band of Blitz Cup, in the Spanish Band of Blitz Cup against Lanier Dominguez. And then he used this setup against me. And then I had a lot of troubles. To get a nice position here with the black pieces, he went for knight d2, which is strange looking move. But okay, let's take on d4 and then play d5 probably. So uh, bishop b2 and now bishop f5, just developing pieces here in this position. 
Let's jump to e4 with the knight and then rook c8. Probably this is a natural move. Putting pressure on c4. And uh, how many of you guys played yesterday? It was like... Uh, how many people? Like uh, 15 against Magnus Galton, right? And it lasts for uh, it lasted for, 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 for three or four hours, something like that, right? So G4 is coming. Mm -hmm. So Queen G6 is gonna be my move. Just connecting the rooks. And 31, okay. 15 and 15, but not everybody connected. Yeah, I was the one trying the simuls. So we wanted to make sure that it was working properly to, to use it, for example, with Magnus Carlsen and the best chess players in the world. So let's say it was the rat, <laughs> the lab rat in that experiment. And it turns out it was an egg experience. So 95, let's bring the other rook to d8. And uh, bishop f3, more pressure on e4. I don't like this position, he's playing quite, quite well. So I have this nice move, bishop h6, targeting the rook on c1. Probably it's got to go back to a1, which is at least interesting for me. Now I was thinking about this f6 move. What do you guys think about this f6? Looks at least doable, right? Because c4 is hanging, but then at the same time, probably this was just a rubbish, this f6. This was completely, completely rubbish move because I can never take on c4. My knight on e4 is very, very unstable. And now, for example, after knight e3, I am in real, real, real trouble. Okay, and maybe even after this sequence uh, as well, I am in real trouble again. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, well, let's uh, try to survive here in this position. Knight g5, only 1 minute 22 seconds. Let's try to focus. Now I want to capture an f3 and then at some point on d5 and then the, get the bishop pair. No, he doesn't allow me. Knight e3 is strong move. Very, very strong move. I'm going back to d7. Now knight c4. Wow, this is this hurts. This hurts a lot. Knight c4. It's very painful. Okay, he didn't see that. So I'm going to take on f3 and now play bishop e8. My plan is just to go bishop f7. And then the... Bishop f7 at some point trying to capture the pawn on d5. He's suffering a draw, but we don't want to draw. We want to learn. We want to learn. So we cannot make a draw here. Let's take on c1. Now, I don't know what to play, guys. f5 probably putting pressure on d4. Now my plan is to go f4 in case he protects that pawn. So can I do that or not? Let's play first b5. Stopping knight c4 ideas. And now probably it's going to play g3. Covering everything. And probably is. A little bit better not so much because we got the bishop pair but then he's got 50 seconds uh, more so i'm gonna take here and then queen b4 attacking b2 and a4 at the same time so probably he's losing a pawn and now we're doing just uh, just fine and then this pawn on a on the a file is running like a beast is running like a damn beast so give me that pawn baby queen takes a4 and now d4 is also under attack so it's gonna protect it i don't know how and my plan is very simple just play queen b4 a5 a4 a3 a2 a1 queen Queen d2, no, he doesn't allow me, just queen b3, putting more pressure on d5, I'm gonna grab this guy, he doesn't do anything, only 1 minute 5 seconds for him, we got 41 seconds, well now he wants to trade queens there, he wants to trade queens, but okay, I'm gonna take this guy here on d5, knight takes, queen takes e5, and then I think the a pawn survives, so no uh, problems at all, queen c8, just king g7, and now this king is very very safe, d4 is under attack, a5 is coming, a5... In the board, bishop a3, and now he's giving, me, he's giving me another pawn. Bishop takes d4, and this should be enough to win the game. Boom! Da, 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 da. Queen takes d3. He's got to resign, my friend, Anzek. Um, I said I was taking two pawns at the same time, right? <laughs> uh, okay, so... Let's play against my friend, uh, my friend, my friend, uh, Kamat, from Spain. So e4, what do you guys want me to play in this, uh, in this game? What do you want to learn? You want to learn some Sicilian? You want to learn some e5, e6, the French opening, the Philidor, the Hippopotamus? What do you want me to play? Um, play c5 Philidor again Sicilian I tried the Philidor let's try something different okay 
Accelerated Dragon. Let's play the Accelerated Dragon. I like, I like the idea because I, I haven't played today the Accelerated Dragon, and uh, uh, let's see what he does. So G6. There are some subtleties uh, between the Dragon and the Accelerated Dragon. I'll try to explain them. Mainly, he goes for the main line with D4 because there you can see differences. So bishop c4, now knight c6, whenever there is a bishop on c4, I like to play e6, because many people follow, uh, fall for the trick. Okay, he was lucky, he was lucky, and then if he had done short castle and my knight was on e7, now he, he would be losing on the spot with d5, d4. But then, I don't know if he saw that or not, let's just try to create the trap again. So b6, let's see if he goes for short castle and then knight e7. And then he'll have to do something about this d5, d4. This is a very nice uh, trap that everybody falls when they're starting with chess. I fell for this trap like 10 times. Let's see if he, he saw this. If he, sorry, he saw this trick. My best move here probably is not knight e7 because it allows d4. Probably here I should play knight d4 or even, even, even the previous move knight d4 was best. But here let's see if he uh, falls for the trick. Now d5 is just winning a piece, so he had he has to do something about it. For example, a3, just rookie one. All these moves uh, just lose. Not rookie one because uh, there is some nice pin on the e5. Rookie one saves him. He plays d4. Okay, he saw this. Nice, great, great move, Mr. Kama. D5, pawn takes, pawn takes, and. Uh, Ten times they say the Spanish are a bit exaggerated. That's completely right, right? We are very, very exaggerated. T5, now the bishop has to go away. Bishop B5. And here. Can I go short castle? I think I can go short castle because if he takes on C5, D4 wins, right? Bishop takes, knight takes, pawn takes, D4 wins again. So. So probably he can take on C5. Sorry, guys. And. Uh, I don't know, he doesn't take on c5. Well, I can even close the position with uh, with c4 and then play a6 and then try to grab the bishop pair. Well, bishop g5 is very, very interesting, but I think I can just grab the pawn on d4. What do you guys think? I think I can get this guy here. Knight takes d4, knight takes, bishop takes, and uh, well, the knight on e7 has some troubles, but I think I can always play f6 and then this bishop on g5 has to go away, right? Hmm... So, knight takes d4, bishop takes c7. Well, that's fair enough because he wants to take on d5. But I think this is just fine for black because we got the bishop pair. Look at this bishop on g7. You guys want a nice girlfriend? You guys want a nice boyfriend? You guys want love? Did you have this bishop on g7? What else you want in life? I don't understand you. You got this bishop on d4. is is the boss of the disco. This bishop on, on d4. Controls everything, controls every single corner in the disco. He can dance like a beast. Bishop c6. Ah, oh, you're a tricky guy. You are a tricky guy. You want me to take this bishop on c6? Not happening today. Because there is knight e7. And uh, so just rook b8. And then bishop e6. And all his pieces are starting to get in trouble. c4. That was nice. Okay. Mm, let's play king g7. Now the threat is real. Now I can take on c6 actually. So probably it's got to go away with bishop a4 or bishop b5, something like that. But I have, for example, after bishop b4, a4, sorry, I, I have b5, right? So queen f3. Now I can take this guy. The wall is mine. Du, 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 du. Queen c6, bishop b6, next move. There's no. Discover check or whatever. So grabbing the free piece. Life is great. Now after this, uh, today Madrid is playing, guys, in the Champions League at nine. So I have to watch that game too. I think it's at nine p.m. Central European time. So Queen F4. Let's just play. I don't know. Whatever. Mm, Bishop E6. Attacking this knight on d5, and our friend Kamat is gonna resign very soon. Queen d7, and uh, he's got 
Ooh, another piece for me. Fantastic curry sauce. Ooh, another piece for me. Quintex D4. Let's pre move Quintex H4. Okay, now let's play against a German guy. And he's. He's uh, from our staff as well, our friend Chessflow. So let's play e4, c5, Sicilian, knight f3, and uh, d4, knight takes d4. Let's see what kind of Sicilian. He, he, will he go for the pelican? He goes for the pelican defense. And now I'm going to show my favorite recipe against the pelican. You have a video series in Chess24. I recorded that video series with a lot of love, guys, and with a lot of our, uh, working hours. So bishop takes f6, knight takes knight d5, sorry, and then g3 next move. It has a lot of venom, this uh, this move g3. So now, I'm going to try to explain you what to do here. Of course, if he doesn't do anything, we play bishop g2, c3, knight c2, knight e3, we control f5, we control d5, we are much better. So probably, black has to react uh, with f5 at some point. The other option for black is to play knight e7 to fight against this uh, knight on d5. So we take on e7 and then again, our bad piece on a3, we just try to bring it to the center, to e3. Again, controlling d5, again, controlling uh, f5, right? So knight e7, here we gotta take here on, a on e7. And now probably just uh, bishop g2 first. So we stop f5. And here we just play c3. And then if... He gives us uh, two tempi. This knight will be on um, c3, on e3, sorry, which is a very, very, very nice um, square. Well, here I think we can play knight c2. f5 takes, takes knight b4, threatening knight c6, and threatening this pawn on a6. This is another trick, which is very interesting in this position. Stake takes, and knight b4. Now let's see how he protects a6, and how he protects knight c6, the fork. I don't see a clear way because rook b6 uh, runs into knight d5 just winning the game in the spot. So that's why you see the tricks. Just watch this video series in chess 24. Wow, give me that. Knight d5, boom. Give me that, boom. And of course, this is great advantage for us. We just short castle here. And, uh, well, this is just much better for us. Of course, it still has some compensation. And here, I'm going to play... Bishop d5, so I don't allow him to go d5, stuff like that, grabbing some space in the center. Yeah, we just played rook e1. Now, well, probably, yeah, queen d2. Yeah, now uh, we play just queen d2, just uh, intend to break the rook to the center with rook a to d1. He wants to go f5. Hmm, you tricky guy. So I'm gonna go rook a to d1, f5. My next move is just bishop g2. Trading more pieces. You guys know me. So, when I material up, I'm trying to trade basically every single thing. Even your glasses. I'll take my glasses and then I'll trade for your glasses, okay? So, mm, no more problems. Just minimizing the risks is very important in chess. When you are material up, just uh, simplifying everything. It's uh, like a good technique, right? So, hi Pepe. I really enjoyed the Q&A with Ding. I hope you are hosting the Magnus Q&A. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that uh, Q&A session as well. I was trying my best to make him uh, talk uh, uh, a lot of things. Uh, I love Ding. He's a very humble guy. He's very he's very unique, I would say. I mean, in Spain and Latin America, he has so many funks. We admire him so much. So I was enjoying especially that, that interview with Ding Liren because uh, he's a super player. He's very mm. humble. And, I, and I, I like people like that, you know? Shit, what, what, what is this? Okay, queen h3 is coming, so just queen d7, so there is no checkmate there. And chess floor is uh, from the Hamburg office. I was there. I miss Hamburg a little bit. Not so much, but uh, a little bit. Okay, uh, well, let's play queen b7. Looks good to me. Queen b7 or queen e7? Let's play queen e7. So rook d8. Next is uh, my intention. And... Uh, So, how? So, queen e7, rook d8, next move, right? So, we still have uh, some more time, 30 more minutes. Rook d8 works or not? I have to be really, really careful before I play rook, this, uh, rook d8. I have to be extremely careful. Rook d8, queen h3, takes, takes, that's checkmate. So, I think it works. 
So rook d8 takes takes, that's checkmate. Otherwise, he'll have to go queen f5, and then it's not gonna be that easy for him to create a checkmate threats again with queen h3. So this means life is great. I'm enjoying the sun in Ibiza and enjoying life with you guys. And uh, this means that we are trading queens again because after bishop f8, queen, queen takes d5, we just wins in the spot. Thanks, chess floor, for the game. Whoa, we have a tough challenge with my friend Rafi Makam from Germany. Good friend from Germany. And again, well, let's play the Philidor against him. Knight f6, he's very fast, he's very strong, he's beaten me many, many times. So, he's Florian. Florian was playing against me. So, knight d7, and now bishop e7. And we are in the main line of the Philidor. And here, c6, there are many, many ways uh, to play with the white pieces now. We are trying to play a6, followed by rook b8 and b5. And let's see, he knows the theory. Probably he knows. Probably he does. And uh, rook b8. Of course, we cannot play b5 straight away, because after a takes b5, a takes b5, bishop f7 just wins, wins an exchange. So that's why now we play b5, pawn takes, pawn takes. And his idea is going to be to play b4. I'm sure. I know you. I know you, Rafi. I know you, Rafi. b4 is going to be your idea. Otherwise, b4 is coming, and then pawn on e4 is just hanging. So... You gotta play before. I know you, Rafi. There we go. And here we are playing Queen C7. So in many occasions we are gonna try to react with C5. Oh, he goes D5 here. Mm-hmm. D5 is possible here. I don't know. Takes, takes, takes everything. Boom, 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 bada boom. Boom, 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 bada boom. Boom, 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 bada boom. I don't know. Knight B6 looks good to me. Let's go knight b6. So pawn takes, queen takes. We control d5. We intend to go knight c4 in this in this uh, position. Also some pressure on e4. Um, bishop takes b6. We just win the bishop pair. So I think we are in good shape again in this position. Queen takes e6. Bishop takes b6. Okay, that was nice. And here, hmm. Well, queen b6. Let's go for this knight d5. We just uh, take here on d5 and bishop d5. Okay. What's going on here? We got the bishop pair. I'm gonna probably play king h8 just to be able to play f5 in this uh, in this position. Just opening the position, open opening diagonal. Sorry for 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 this to Loifa 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 is bishop in in German. If if I remember something. <laughs> okay, what should I do here? He's uh, doing fine. He's uh, fighting for the a file. Oh, scheiße! What should I do? Mm, don't like my position at all right now. I think I'm struggling here. Guys, what should I do? I don't know, man. I don't know. Well, let's play bishop g4 first. Let's see if he allows me to take on f3. And uh, hmm, probably I should have gone f5 straight away. Yeah, f5 was definitely a, be a, a better move. And uh, I don't know, man. I feel like I'm, I'm much worse here. I don't know. I feel that I am much worse. Well, he gave me the opportunity, so I have to take. And then I'm playing f5 here to open the position with uh, the queen on d8. You can come. You can you can come. Rook a7. And now mm, bishop h4 looks good or not? I don't know. Let's play bishop h4 here. Why not? Yeah, let's go bishop h4. And now mm, we are targeting uh, f2. Maybe in some positions we can play rook f6, followed by rook g6. Also queen d8, followed by bishop g5. Maybe queen d8 was even better straight away. Yeah, maybe queen d8 uh, to, to, to play bishop g5, bishop f4, and queen h4. Now he forces me to go there. So queen d8 is the move. Now bishop g5 is coming. This should be at least interesting for me. I'm getting some count to play against the Dils Fide Master from Germany. Bishop g5, followed by Bishop f4, Queen h4, Rook f6. All my pieces coordinating in order to mate this guy. Bishop g5, Bishop f4. Let's see, he's running out of time. Let's see, Bishop e6. All right, all right. Now he wants to take on d6. You're a bad person. You are a bad person, Rafi. Why do you do this to me? Why do you do this to me, Rafi? Rafi! Rafi. Oof. Okay, let's take on e4 now. Putting pressure on the f2 and f3. Now rook d6. Probably I can just go. I don't know. Can I go? I have no squares for my queen. Maybe queen f6. 
Queen of six, they're attacking. Ah! Oh! I got this. No, no, no. Bishop f2? I can't do a3 takes. I think I can't do this. Oh my gosh. Well, mm, Queen f oof, Queen f4. I'm just uh, collapsing right now. I am collapsing right now. I am collapsing right now. I thought too much. And now I'm running out of time. Mm, queen takes, rook takes, and then still some pressure on f3 still a lot of pressure on f3 now he wants to take there no i cannot allow that so rook f7 or something like that now i'm taking on f3 and playing e4 trying to activate my beat rook so rook f8 there let's see what happens so give me that baby i'm gonna play g6 to give some pressure to my king now he can take on e4 actually he can take on e4 he can take on e4 give me that check that's a check that's a check that's a check now we are completely winning. We are completely winning. Give me that baby. Give me that baby. Rook d4 check. Rook d4 check. Let's play h5. Whatever. Whatever works here. Check, 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 check. Da 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 da. I'm about to die, guys. At some point, I I could just say check, check, yeah. Ah, my creativity was away you know okay we have another tough player here well let's let's take for example my friend uh, belen marcos gutierrez from spain rook a8 was made after rook f7 Shit! all is right when i played rook f7 <laughs> rook a8 was checkmate he had checkmate in one move <laughs> okay let's play the philidor again favorite opening we are bad players, but we are warriors, right? We are soldiers. We are chess soldiers. I was never a great player, but I fight. This is the only quality. This is the only, sorry, uh, thing that I can do in chess. Bishop g5. Bishop g5. Mm -hmm. Bishop g5. Let's play knight g7, just protecting this knight on f6. And uh, a6, a6, prophylaxis against uh, knight b5. And now king, king e8, yeah, king e8. This is a typical setup again in the Philidor. Now the idea is to play b5, bishop b7, h6, kicking this bishop back uh, from g5. And uh, okay, let's push, let's push, or no, let's push this bishop first with h6. And then if it goes bishop e3, there's knight g4, just uh, winning the, the bishop pair, because f2 is hanging, and he cannot remove this bishop from there. So, in, he, he took on f6, and then this, of course, uh, great for us, because now we got the bishop pair, and uh, life is great with the bishop pair. Well, should I go b5 or not? Not so sure, because, yeah, let's go b5. He goes bishop d5, I'll just take this guy there. I think I can just take this guy, pawn takes f6, it's got some knight d4 ideas. Uh, have some holes. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. b5. Uh, let's see where he goes. If he goes back. Yeah. This was a little bit annoying for me. Takes f6. Knight d4. King f7. I think nothing is really happening there. So, I'm gonna take. And now f6. Hmm... Ah, there was bishop d8. Right, Oli. There was there was no checkmate. Right, you guys are calculating better than, than me. So rook f7, rook takes f7, rook a8 check, bishop d8, rook takes d8, rook f8 in the other game, right? So here, again, if we manage to control everything, we'll be much better because we got the bishop pair, and bishop pair is fantastic. It's awesome. Unglaublich. Unglaublich, the bishop pair. Knight b3. And bishop d7. Let's uh, develop our pieces. We have some nice four versus three in this position. 
And uh, I don't know where he wants to go. Maybe he wants to jump to c5. That could be an option. But what I mean if is that if he takes on d6, again, this is much better for us. We got the c5 to create some pressure. d5 could be weak. And again, this 4 versus 3, it's uh, at least very, very interesting. So let's force uh, the issue with f5. Now, knight d6, pawn takes c6. Knight c5, that was a better move. And here, just bishop c8, now threatening a4, just winning the game in the spot. So, knight d3, now e4, for example, kicking this knight again. e4 was a bad move. e4 was a very bad move because now d4 is, is there. Probably rook e8 was a little bit more precise. And uh, Pepe, you enjoy, you enjoy a lot chess. Exactly, yeah, I enjoy chess a lot. I can be playing like Blitz for, for, for 10 hours, you know. I used to do this, you know, my, one of my best friends, uh, international master from, from UK, Lawrence Trent. Uh, we were, actually, he was, he's one of my best friends. He studied in my city in Granada when we were both very young, like 15 years, 15 years ago, we were both international masters and uh, we became very cl close friends. And he speaks per perfect Spanish. And uh, later on, when I moved to Hamburg to, to work at uh, the university, so he moved to Hamburg to work in Chess24. So that's why we moved together, and then we we could we could play uh, Blitz uh, like basically four or five hours a day after work. So we were crazy. We are crazy about chess. A4, this just wins on the spot. And uh, because the knight on c5 is just hanging, so this is a piece for free. And I love pieces for free. Bishop d6, c4, let's play bishop d7, attacking this knight. Of course, if he allows, I'll take that guy. Knight c3, bishop e5 again, insisting on exchanging everything. Rook e8, rook e4, just trading everything. Rook e4, rook e1, just rook e8. And uh, king e7, let's play rook f8. Bishop f5, protecting everything. Now, bishop h7, for example, he's gonna try c5, some stuff like that. Rook f3, ba boom, king d6. Okay, this was not very smart. Rook d3. Rook c3 and rook c5 check. I managed to blunder the bishop, but then we are making a queen. Thanks. Um, so, what's your statistic against uh, Lawrence? We were uh, pretty similar in, in Blitz. Uh, maybe after four months, uh, the score was one, one, 180 versus uh, 179 or something like that. <laughs> So I had more uh, classical rating than him. Uh, um, for example, today I think I have uh, 150 uh, more points than him in classical rating. But I think in blitz he's uh, a better player than I am. I'm not a very good uh, blitz player actually. Well, let's keep playing against, for example, uh, Martin, who challenged me. Uh, whoop! What's going on here? Sorry, guys. This went crazy but let's go back to the game and play against uh, Martin Walchenbach from Germany and uh, well let's play e4 then and uh, okay c5 knight f3 chess patzer let me see if I have your challenge here no problem because probably it's just here so many people that I can play against everybody Sorry about that. I know you guys can, but Chess Patzer just uh, challenged me uh, in a three-minute game. That's much better because so so I can play more people. Okay, so 94 again. We have another Pelica or what? Or maybe the classical Sicilian with D6. A6. That's pretty weird. There's nothing I can take on C6, and he takes with a B pawn. E5 should be kicking this knight back to G8. And. Uh, so that means that, of course, we are in great shape here. But I think it's not that bad for black because he's going to play d5. And I think it's not that terrible for him. d5, pawn takes, pawn takes. Mm, maybe it's not even worse for him, actually. So give me that. Probably pawn takes. And now short castle. He took with the queen. That's a pretty weird move. Because now... Well, let's play queen f3. Because now his structure is uh, pretty dubious, as you guys can see. C6 is very weak. Now, 
Uh, I'm living in development, uh, as, you, as you guys can see. I, ha I have like two pieces out. Now I'm going for short castle in this move. Knight e4, bishop f4. Too many good options here for white. Bishop f4, rook e1, rook d1. Um, he still has all his pieces in the background, as you guys can see here. Bishop b7, the bishop is doing basically nothing over there, so just bishop f4. Now rook e1, rook d1, the knight is coming to e4, looking for c5, looking for d6. Um, he's in real trouble actually in this position already. Pepe, Granada will be in, Euro in Europe League, exactly, Europa League, exactly, Rahul. Granada is doing fine this year, our football team. So 94, 96 is a real threat. C5, 96, queen takes, queen takes b7, just uh, wins. So 96, knight f6 was a mistake, but the position was already very, very difficult for him. 96, king d8, and here, well, there's a nice sequence, guys. There's a nice sequence. So rook d1, probably is going knight uh, d5. And there, I want to take on d5 and take on f7. That's really, really beautiful. Look at this. Boop. Bishop takes d5 and knight takes f7. Check. If queen takes f7, bishop g5 just wins. No, shit. No. No, this was a terrible mistake. I was playing the smart guy and I did so. I did the, stup the most stupid thing in my life because bishop g5, king e8, and this is just a piece up for him. <laughs> I was playing the smart guy. Oh, this is so beautiful. Knight takes d5, knight f7. Look how good I play chess. Just stupid guy. Just now, after bishop g5, king e8 just wins. But okay, we'll try to flag him. We'll try to flag him as usual. This is our business. c4, let's open the position. Mm, let's open the position with c4. And then probably at some point he should get nervous, right? Get oh d4. This is the first uh, <laughs> mistake. Rook takes d4 check, and now king e8, and probably I don't know where to go with my queen. Let's go to g3. For example, bishop c5 comes with a temple again. Okay, and now rook d2. Um, we got two pawns for the piece, and his king is still in the center, so not so bad. Yeah, take your bishop g5. King e8 was protecting the queen, so. Not the best uh, business that business sorry that I have done in my life, and uh, <clears throat> so rook d2, queen g6. He wants to trade queens. I understand that, and I think I cannot stop that. And so I'm gonna play rook e1 and uh, put pressure on e6. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I just remember one crazy story. <laughs> I was with my friends once uh, in a party and we were uh, just walking in the streets and uh, we were crossing a bridge and the guy was a little bit drunk and uh, suddenly my friend, he jumped from the bridge to a tree that he just saw a tree and then he thought he could be Superman and then he was just holding the tree like that, holding the tree and he was really scared because he jumped to the tree and then he had to to hold the tree and uh, he was bleeding because he was like this going down going down he wanted to be there and then finally he was bleeding like hell you know he was bleeding like hell I don't know why I just uh, I just remembered that 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 stupid thing so give me that and uh, just bring the king and I think this is not so bad I mean it's bad for sure but not so bad we can we can we can resist here. So, oof, 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 rook d3. Check. Oof, this is gonna, this is looking bad because he's, he's, he's very, he's very quick actually. F4, F4, G4, F4, G4, ah, G3, rook e5. Let's pre move everything. Let's pre move everything. C6, C6, takes, 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 takes. Give me that. Give me that. King d4, p5, king c5, king d4, king e5. Ah, f5. F6. Okay, he resigned. And uh, okay, now last game, and then we play one minute games. Okay, so you guys can start challenging me to one minute games. And uh, let's play, for example, our friend uh, Patrick. 
from that was a dirty dirty flagging i i have to admit that actually i have to admit that good game um let's play the dutch the leningrad for example i used to play the the leningrad when i was a kid it was very risky opening now i play the king's indian and solid with d5 but it's very fun to play this uh, leningrad bishop g5 bishop g7 mm. and short castle followed by t6 and queen e8 it's one of the ideas and sometimes you want to continue with e5 right and occupy the center knight f3 queen e8 the next move probably is e5 the other option is to play first c6 so we cover d5 and then later on d6 okay should i go yeah i think i should go e5 straight away pawn takes pawn takes and now a bishop takes bishop takes knight d5 i got this bishop d8 covering c7 then later intend to go um, c6 kicking this knight back from d5 and uh, c6 just covering d5 and now h6 g5 is a plan right so h6 if the bishop goes away g5 actually traps the bishop so he's forced to take on f6 and now we got the bishop pair again it goes e4 d4 is gonna be weak for the rest of the game there are plans like knight a6 knight c5 knight e6 and here let's play knight a6 as i was telling you guys controlling c5 which is an important square here in this position a3 and yeah why not let's go knight c5 in order to go knight e6 after b4 i think he managed to get a nice position because he can go b4 knight e6 c5 he didn't go for this so i'm gonna play prophylactically with knight e6 against b4 and c5 and now e4 could be an option since d4 well he can go to d4 he can go to d4 but then i have e3 yeah i think this should be good for us e4 knight takes e4 pawn takes e4 e3 pawn takes queen takes and the position gets opened and uh, that's always good news when we have the bishop pair so let's go queen takes e3 and uh, and now mm, well it's not clear king f1 that was very very strange that was definitely a strange move but uh, it's not easy bishop h4 bishop f3 he covers f2 so no worries so maybe it's just best to develop pieces with bishop d7 intend to go rook e8 rook d3 that's uh, fair enough so let's go back where where to go well g5 looks like a active square for the king for the queen sorry and now rook e8 is just gone yes exactly andre you can you, you guys can challenge me to one minute games so rook e8 i wanted to go f4 but then e4 is uh, is a tasty square for this knight and he could get the bishop pair so that's why i played rook e8 first and now i play f4 so there's no knight e4 the, the, the bishop is coming to f f5 sorry there are some bishop a3 ideas in the spot for example right now he just blundered or not maybe bishop a3 bishop d5 takes takes i guess this should be good but then probably it's intend to go knight e4 but we got this nice move bishop f5 using the fact that he can actually put a piece on e4 he did but then this is just a piece down for him and then he's probably got to resign very very soon very 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 soon very soon well let's go rookie a takes takes no problems and yes this is just winning and getting another pawn bishop takes d4 check 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 and here queen e5 centralizing the queen and intend to go rook e1 and bishop g1 just winning the game so is in real trouble my friend patrick patrick g5 very very soon very very soon he's got to resign in this position and uh, if you guys have uh, any time suggestions for example uh, of how should we should uh, i mean do this bante blitzes uh, you have uh, you want to play different kind of uh, games with different time controls you can always leave a comment on for example youtube i i will read every comment and i will answer to you 
uh, or for example, someday we can do a specific opening uh, banter blitz. That's an idea that has worked pretty nice in Spanish. I did one about the Philidor. I was planning to do another one about the English opening. So we can do this. We can start playing from a given position, something like this. Okay, let's play three one minute games, okay? The, f the first one is a normal one. The second one, one minute game where I'm forced to pre-move every move. And the third one, blindfold bullet, okay? This is something that I really enjoy. Okay, so let's play, um, for example, our friend Alex. Alex. And uh, so this is just a normal one minute game. G6, knight f6, and e5, right? This is the Philidor. Takes, uh, I'm gonna play bishop e7, h3, why? Wow, he's going all in with g4. Are you kidding me? Well, let's play d5. Let's try to react in the center. Knight takes e4, pawn takes e4, then queen d5. It's a nice move. Trying to go for queen takes e5. Whoa, this is a pawn for free for me. I'm gonna grab it. Thank you for the pawn. F5 just opening the position. Facundo solves the issue. Now knight c6. Intend to go on bishop e6. Ooh, 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 this is getting a little bit crazy. This is getting a little bit crazy. Let's play knight d4. Probably it's not the best move. C5 protecting that guy. Bishop e6 coming. Knight takes e2. Bishop e6. There's no queen c4 check now, and here rook e8 uh, protecting e4 with uh, all my strength. Queen c7 back now. Bishop f6 takes takes 34 seconds. Pawn takes. I, I go back there. I go back there. Let's go queen e5 centralizing the queen. That looks nice. H6. Now I'm gonna attack you on the g file. Where are you going, my friend? F4. Here Facunda comes. Facunda comes. Queen g5, f3 is a threat, f3 is a threat, this is just completely winning, bishop a3 check, give me that baby, boom 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 Alright! Now, let's play one game where I'm forced to remove every single move, okay? d6, let's play against, let's play an hippopotamus, okay? Hippopotamus. It's a good game to play in Blitz online, right? Because you can remove a lot of things. G6, let's remove everything. Of course, I can blunder many stuff here. Let's just try to stop everything. 97, 86, B6, C6, B6. Okay, Bishop B7, Bishop B7, 97. Maybe he's smart and he's following the, the broadcast. He could actually uh, take on H6. D5 takes takes. I'm gonna remove that. I'm gonna play D4. I'm gonna play Knight F6. I'm gonna play Short Castle. I'm gonna play Knight D7. The remove. I'm gonna play Knight E5 takes takes. Bishop E7 remove. Now let's play F5. What, what is this king doing there, my friend? This is just uh, Leonidas. F4 Bishop takes. Now Knight F5. Boom boom boom. Knight F5. Boom boom boom. King H4. King H7. Boom boom boom. Queen H4. Boom boom boom. Now King G7. Boom boom boom. Knight G3. Boom boom boom. Uh, bishop g5, boom, boom, boom. Rook h4, rook h4, boom, boom, boom. And now knight e2, boom, boom, boom. And uh, queen h3, boom, boom, boom. Oh, no! No, rook a7. No, no, that was not a checkmate. Okay. Queen e6. Now, you see, this is good. And. Okay. <laughs> And last game, before we switch uh, to Spanish, we are going to make it blindfold. Blindfold. Uh, okay, where to hide the pieces? Yeah, here. Okay. And we play, for example, against the uh, last uh, challenge. Tahir. Tahir. Okay, now I have to play aggressive. One minute game. Blindfold. Let's get all crazy together here in this weekend. C5. Now, knight f3, g6, the accelerated dragon. D3. Oh, he's playing calm. And now, knight c3, bishop g7, bishop e2, e6, short castle, knight e7, bishop d2, d5. Now we are occupying the center. Short castle here. Now, let's see. Pawn takes, pawn takes. Now, knight takes. The, oh, this is a piece for free for me. This is a piece for free for me. Bishop e6. Now, let me see if I have the pieces on my mind. I'm gonna sacrifice on a3. Just gonna sacrifice on a3. Queen takes a3. Why not? Why not? Why not? c4. Knight f4. I can play knight f4, actually. So I'm gonna play knight f6 to go knight g4. Now he's stacking my queen. You're a bad guy. Queen f5. 
Now go away, my friend. Go away, my friend. Queen f5. Now I want to go knight d4. Next move. I think I have a better position here. That's it. That's it. D4. Wow. Give me that, baby. Knight takes d4. Nothing happens. Rook d8 coming. Oh, um, now what is this? Queen c1. That's a big ba boom. 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 Knight takes it too, followed by... No, no, no. And now... Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna play knight g4. Knight g4. That's a good move. Right. That's a good move. h6 is coming. The rook on a1 is just hanging. So, queen b1. Is that possible? I'm just taking now this, uh, this knight on g5. I just plundered the queen. h6. Because the bishop was on d2. I completely forgot. Knight takes d3. Now I'm gonna take this rook on a1. Now I'm gonna play rook d8 pre move and rook d7 and we just won on time. Okay, let's show you the the game. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this was uh, Sicilian, as you guys can see. And uh, here we were doing fine. He just gave me the piece for nothing, and then I just sacrificed on a3 because I had to hurry up, otherwise. I get lost playing bullet chess and rook e2, knight g4, and here I just uh, went crazy and took the knight on g5. But anyway, I think uh, at least me, uh, at least myself, I enjoyed this session with you guys. It's always a pleasure to be here doing some band blades in English. And now we switch to Spanish for another 90 minutes so you can keep your challenges. And I'll still pick your challenges, of course. So, uh, hope you guys uh, had a nice session, had a nice day. And I hope you guys have a nice weekend, wherever you are. Just stay healthy, take care. And if you drink, don't drive. See you guys.